Hey, good morning guys. Uh, we're gonna try something different this morning. We're gonna head down to some farm country about an hour away. Um, we're gonna get out of the Adirondacks and give it a whirl down there. Um, it's actually my father-in-law's farm, which I'm really um, thankful and fortunate to be able to hunt. And the cool part is it is right next to a bunch of public. The land um, abuts each other, so it's really awesome. There's a bunch of um, turkeys that we've seen earlier this spring and um, the first weekend actually first day I was fortunate enough to go with my father-in-law and his friend and call in three longbeards and he was able to harvest one of them uh, that's just always special to be able to share those moments with your friends and family so we're gonna go back down there or I am gonna do a solo hunt and we're gonna try my motion decoy that I got this year. Um, it's a remote control that makes a motor go inside a tom and uh, it makes it go back and forth. It really adds a bunch of realism. So I'm pumped to use that. I've never used it before and I'm just excited to see what the, what the birds are gonna think and how they're gonna react to it. Um, yeah, so stick with us and uh, we'll see ya when we get there.
Woohoo! Yeah, that was awesome. What a hunt. Man, he loved that motion decoy. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm gonna go grab him. Hey guys, so here's the bird. <clears throat> what an awesome hunt. Um, I had no idea where he was gonna be this morning. Um, actually, they roost up behind here. I was expecting them to come from that way, but I guess what I was trying to say is I had no idea that he'd be roosted across the way. It's just a little hedgerow, and on the other side of that is another field down below. Um, just a small patch of trees. I didn't think that he'd be there at all. And he hammered, flew down, saw my decoys, and put on a show and just came right in. Um, I couldn't wait much longer, so I squeezed the trigger at about 25 yards, I would say. Um, I just was afraid that he was gonna peg me. And uh, I think his focus was on the decoys and I could have let him dance around him a little bit, but I haven't got a bird this year, so I wasn't gonna take that chance. But he's a beautiful bird, about a 10 inch beard, inch spurs. I couldn't be happier. Um, can't wait to get back out. It's been, it's been a rough year. Just, I've been on them, but haven't been able to capitalize. So this is really, really uh, fulfilling to have put the smack down on him this morning. But um, just couldn't ask for a better hunt. Just, I, from the moment he, I first heard him gobble to the kill shot was probably 10 minutes. Just fun when that happens. It doesn't always happen that way. But uh, yeah, what an awesome hunt. Thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe, like us, and stay tuned for more videos.